This is an introductory video on Visual Place. Visual Place is an application to manage, process and create the production files for the printed circuit board assembly and possibly for inspection after assembly. One of the main functions of Visual Place is to allow you to inspect the production files. If you are a PCB designer, you will want to validate the pick and place data and the bill of materials before shipping them to an assembly house. And if you are a shop that provides PCB assembly facilities, you will want to inspect the received data and to do this offline. I have started Visual Place with a project. This is the demo project that comes with Visual Place. I have made another video showing how to set up a project from scratch from the files from your electronic design programs. So I am skipping that step here. Actually, this is not the demo project exactly as it is provided with Visual Place. I have damaged the production files a bit, because otherwise there would be little to demonstrate. For example, see how the packets field for R13 is red. This indicates a mismatch between the bill of materials and the centroid file, like it says in the balloon pop-up. If you edit the bill of materials or the component placements in Visual Place, Visual Place will keep the data consistent. But for files straight out of your PCB design programs or from Excel, a mismatch can easily happen. To verify whether the component positions are good, we can, of course, run through the component list and check every component one by one. But there is also an automated tool, Verify Component Centroids. It shows a number of issues. I will start at the bottom. If I click on U9, I get to see a marker on top of it. Visual Place has detected that U9 is off its footprint by roughly 0.08 mm. To correct this, to move the centroid to the center, I click in the status field of the table and select Adjust Centroid Position. For the other two options, please see the manual. It does not do this immediately, only after you click OK, Visual Place will apply all corrections. One row up, Q10. It is perfectly centered, but Visual Place says it must be rotated by 270 degrees to fit on its footprint. So we will correct that too. Now R23. The issue here is that the centroid file and the bill of materials say that it is an 0805. But if you look at the silk screen, you will see that it is small. Compare it with R21, it is the same size, and R21 is 0603. So the footprint of R23 is indeed dubious. It is likely that R23 should be 0603. The same thing with C19, but now the other way around. C19 is defined as 0603, but the shape is more like 0805. There is nothing we can do with these errors in this dialog. Visual Place flags them, but you have to correct them by editing the bill of materials and the centroid files. Now, two points. First, why does it say dubious instead of mismatch? That is because the packet actually fits on the footprint. You can place an 0603 component on an 0805 footprint. It's not recommended if you do reflow soldering, but it works just fine for hand soldering. Same with putting an 0805 component on an 0603 footprint. It will be tough for hand soldering, but the component just fits. We see that on C13. C13 is a 4mm SMD aluminium electrolytic capacitor and the footprint is correct for it. What has happened here is that Visual Place uses the footprint layout according to the IPC 7351 standard, and the design program with which this demo project was made uses a slightly more compact footprint than what the IPC 7351 standard recommends. In this case, Visual Place has just been too strict. To tell Visual Place that for this footprint it should allow a less perfect match, select Adjust Packet Specification. After I click on OK, Visual Place will adjust the specification for this footprint to allow a higher deviation from the IPC 7351 standard. And the second point, you may be curious why R13 was not flagged in this dialog. The reason is, the bill of materials says 0805 and the centroid file says 0603. Visual Place took the centroid file as authoritative and found that an 0603 packet indeed fits on the footprint. 
So we are done. I click OK. U9 is adjusted, but by less than one tenth of a millimeter, so you won't see that. U10 is also adjusted. The orientation now points to pin 1. The footprint mismatch for C13 won't be reported again, because its specification has been adjusted. What leaves to be done is to select the appropriate footprints for R13, R23 and C19, but I will skip that now. Note that the visual place checks are not exhaustive. Errors may slip through the net. But I hope that this video has shown that it does catch a class of errors that would otherwise be difficult to spot. All in all, it helps you get reliable and consistent production files. And that is the primary goal of visual place.